The bear's been here, he's been chilling. Ripping all my bird feeders off so we can't put the bird feeders out anymore. Back yeah, nah, we chilling with the raccoons. They come every night. <laughs> I think I'd have this tail like too. So we're gonna need to. All right, let's gotta go up a little bit. Yeah, let's pull it apart so we can cut that piece. Hold back. Tried to leave like a little bit of. That's okay. So we tried to leave like a little bit extra here so we could try to slide it underneath these. We're going to bend these back down, but it's just too long. So we're going to cut it and it's th the same plan should work. We just left them a little long. Go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah. Pull that flap in. Yep. You can weld it. Boom. And then this back to there. Okay. So slide it back out yep. again? We'll slide it back out. So at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, guys, just put the thing together already. Why do you keep putting it together and taking it apart? Well, it's because it has to be perfect. Otherwise, what's the point of doing any of this in the first place? You know, yeah, we fixed the rod, but here's your truck where the door gaps don't fit or the fenders gaps don't fit. So all these things have to be within, you know, a millimeter, less than a millimeter uh, of, you know, in spec, you know? So we really want to make sure when we put the front fenders on, they fit as they did from the factory. When we put the doors on, the fender gaps and the door gaps match and then the, the rear door gaps match the bed of the truck everything's the same measurements the door shut perfectly and you know they open good you don't have to slam them and then also kind of our biggest fear is we didn't want it to dog tail uh, and for those of you that don't know what dog tailing means it means like basically your front axle is offset from your rear axles if you've ever seen like an old truck going down the road and it's kind of like i guess they go, they also call it crab walking where it's kind of like going down the road sideways it's going straight but the 
truck is sitting on the road sideways, meaning like maybe the front right wheel is touching the right line of the road and then the back left wheel is touching the left line of the road, but it's still driving straight. The truck is just crooked. That was kind of our biggest fear. We didn't want it to dogtail down the road. So putting it back together, you know, a couple of times was, we were happy to do that just to make sure that everything fit perfectly in the end. <laughs> what's up it is day four we got a bit of stuff we got to do today i'm really excited we got it back together i can't believe that we made it this far um also just can't believe that i cut my friend's truck in half after stealing it and i was able to put it all back together but thankfully Ben, Sam, and my brother Jeff came through, and we just work really well as a team. It feels really good to be in the garage with these guys, and it just everybody's got their own thing. We're all having fun, and uh, it doesn't feel like work. You know, it feels like we're having a good time, and I, I miss those days. You know, so it feels really good. Um, we got it back together. Everything's uh, just tack welded in place. I wanted to be able to roll it out last night because we were here in the garage till like 11 or 11:30 at night last night, and I didn't want to leave. You know, anything. Possibly, if any, you know, it seemed like it cooled down, but I just want my house to burn on, uh, catch on fire or whatever. So I, I always am super cautious. So I rolled it out last night, felt really good. Everything lines up, all the pinch welds are good. Um, I just gotta go through, I'm gonna TIG weld the A pillar so that's really nice and smooth uh, cause that's the most that you're gonna see really uh, for body work wise. And then I need to do the rockers. There's still a little bit of rocker love that needs to be done on the truck side because it seemed a little soft. Uh, so we're gonna have to go back into that at a later time as well as on the other side, it needs a little bit of love cause it's soft or there's rot holes or whatever. But we just didn't have enough um, car you know cut wise it was a little bit it's a bit of math that we we're doing and trying to get everything to fit together it was quite a bit of work so today again thursday day four we got a lot of stuff to do because they get off their plane at or they'll be home at like 6 30 tomorrow friday um jen and bryce so we got a ton of stuff we need to do the headlights the grill um the radiator get everything in you know the battery and all that stuff for the motor we need to put the hood on the fenders on and uh so we kind of got uh we all kind of decided what we're going to try to tackle today i'm going to be finishing up the welding it's uh, again it's tough welding this because it's, it's a bit rotted so um but i think i got a pretty pretty it's all pretty clean now it's looking pretty good so i, I gotta do that Ben's going to be on body work, getting everything fitted, and then sanding all this stuff. Um, my brother's going to be doing brake lines and fuel lines. And Sammy, again, is just going to be, you know, getting that motor running, getting it running. And, and then we're all going to tackle the interior. It should be pretty simple. Uh, put the windshield in and hopes that everything can get done tonight. I want to get all this done in probably around five hours. That means it'll be around 10 o'clock tonight. Um, so a lot of work to do, but with all four of us, not that bad. So let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys, it's 10 o'clock at night. Uh, we got the whole front end on, the grill, the, the hood, the fenders, everything's all set. The interior is in, Ben just got done putting the seats in. Looks really good. Uh, we just can't get it to run. We still gotta swap the door cards, the maroon door cards, so everything matches, but we can't get it to run. The other car, we were having trouble getting it to run. 
We have fuel, we have spark, we have timing. I think it's just some CIS issues. It looked like somebody messed with a bunch of stuff before us. So it's what we're gonna do is pull all the CIS stuff off and then put all the carburetor stuff on from the truck that, uh, you know, from the old truck motor and, and hopes that that works. So we're gonna pull, at least pull all the CIS stuff off of this car today. And then when I get out of work tomorrow, I'll start putting all the carb stuff on in hopes that we can get it done before these guys get back at six o'clock tomorrow, day five. We just switched the, all, ripped all the CIS stuff off and then <laughs> Sammy and I ripped everything out. Ben was finishing up dialing the interior in, got everything in real nice, but we swapped it right to the carb. Kind of have it in a little bit hokey pokey, but we just wanted to make sure, see how quickly we could do it. What time is it right now? Uh, 10.56. Dang, so we did that in like 40 minutes. Ripped all, all the CIS stuff and put in a carb and... Boys, let's call it a night. That's, that feels really good. All right, guys, it's day five. Um, Sammy's been here most of the day. He finished painting the cowl, did the body work on that, um, did the radiator, the fan, um, just basically dialed in the motor so it runs really good. He finished up the exhaust. He's been like, you know, lifesaver today because otherwise I don't think we would have made it. Ben finished up the interior. It looks really, really good. We did the maroon interior rather than the peanut butter, um, mostly just because the dash was already in this front clip but and the carpet as well, but it does look really good in the truck. I think it looks, looks really good. Um, vacuumed, everything looks just really nice and clean. Really happy with that. And uh, the boys are as well. Uh, we have to still put the windshield in. Um, Sammy brought over a nice grill instead of the um what are they called the milk crate grill we're gonna put the just a regular like golf grill in it just because the milk crate one was kind of you know cracked and stuff so we're gonna put this one in we're finishing up um sammy's finishing up wiring in the headlights just because it was a little bit banged up the harness because of the accident with the rabbit um so we're just finishing that up and then that's basically it we just got to put the grill on jeff made a nice um license plate holder bracket for the front because it was just zip tied to the grill before. And Ben's prepping the windshield to get that in. That's basically our biggest hurdle today is just getting the windshield in. And hopefully we don't crack it. We got about an hour until they arrive. 45 minutes to finish putting the, head, the, the windshield in, get it on the trailer and get it over there. It's probably gonna take us 20 minutes to get it there. So we're cutting it really close. The garage looks like not good. The garage looks not good. But uh, I'm really happy that we're <laughs> basically um, I just got home. I put the shift knob on and uh, that's about all I've done today. But the boys have been killing it all day here. Um, so I'm really excited to have it done. And I'm curious to see what Jen and Bryce think. So here we go. First test drive. Yeah, the floppy mirror, we gotta tighten that up. But oh, we didn't clean it. We left stuff first. Yeah, we didn't clean it. Are those the original seats? 
So we what left enough for you to, us shit. to do together. There's a lot that needs to be done still. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Go. Birth on it. Wow, there's no boxes in the front. And there's different seats. It's all different interior. It's red now. Can you get that? Yeah, pop the head.